In modern naval warfare, the threat from anti-ship missiles is significant. These missiles are fast, maneuverable, and deadly. To counter this threat, navies around the world rely on close-in weapon systems, or CIWS. These are last-ditch defenses designed to intercept and destroy incoming missiles at close range. Today, we will compare two prominent CIWS, the Russian AK-630M and the Italian Dardo. We will delve into their technical specifications, firepower capabilities, and suitability for different naval needs. By understanding the strengths and weaknesses of each system, we can better grasp their roles in modern naval warfare. The AK-630M and Dardo represent different design philosophies. The AK-630M prioritizes overwhelming firepower with its high rate of fire, while the Dardo focuses on precision and versatility with its sophisticated guidance system and multiple ammunition types. Section 2. AK-630M – Russian Rapid Firepower The AK-630M is a Russian-made CIWS known for its incredible rate of fire. It uses a 6-barreled 30mm Gatling gun. The system relies on radar and electro-optical tracking. It can fire up to 5,000 rounds per minute. Effective against sea-skimming missiles. The high rate of fire increases the probability of hitting agile threats. In service since the 1980s and exported to several countries. The Dardo, developed by the Italian firm Leonardo, represents a different approach to CIWS design. It prioritizes precision engagement and ammunition versatility. The Dardo system typically uses a single 40mm Bofors cannon, although twin gun variants exist. While its rate of fire is lower than the AK-630M, typically around 1,200 rounds per minute, the Dardo compensates with advanced fire control systems. These systems use radar and electro-optical tracking to accurately guide projectiles toward their targets. This precision makes the Dardo effective against a wider range of threats, including small boats, unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, and even helicopters. The Dardo can utilize a variety of 40mm ammunition, including high-explosive incendiary, armor-piercing, and programmable airburst munitions. This allows the system to adapt to different tactical situations and engage various targets with optimal effectiveness. The AK-630M and Dardo exhibit contrasting firepower philosophies. The AK-630M focuses on sheer volume of fire, unleashing a torrent of 30 mm projectiles. This approach aims to overwhelm incoming threats with a dense barrage. Conversely, the Dardo emphasizes precision engagement. Its slower rate of fire is balanced by advanced fire control and versatile 40 mm ammunition. The choice depends on specific threats and tactical doctrine. The AK-630M's primary strength lies in its exceptional rate of fire. This, combined with its relatively simple design and robust construction, makes it a cost-effective solution for close-in defense, particularly against saturation attacks by multiple missiles. However, its reliance on a single ammunition type and less sophisticated fire control may limit its effectiveness against certain targets. The Dardo, while possessing a lower rate of fire, excels in precision engagement and versatility. Its advanced fire control system and diverse ammunition options allow it to engage a wider range of threats, from small boats to helicopters. However, this sophistication comes at a higher cost compared to the AK-630M. Ultimately, the choice between these systems involves trade-offs between cost, firepower, and versatility. Navies must carefully evaluate their specific operational requirements and threat assessments to determine the most suitable CIWS for their needs. The AK-630M and Dardo represent two distinct approaches to close-in defense. The AK-630M relies on overwhelming firepower to saturate incoming threats. The Dardo prioritizes precision and versatility, engaging a wider range of targets. The choice depends on the Navy's specific needs and priorities. As technology evolves, CIWS design and capabilities will advance. Rapid detection, accurate targeting, and decisive engagement remain crucial.